So this test just consists of a wooden block with some screws on the bottom to simulate the hard undersurface of the statue and this tub of uh, garlic salt which I'm using to give the offset weight. So essentially it's the same setup and probably approximately the same size. Now the important thing is that it's on a glass surface. Uh, this means that there's very little friction between points of contact uh, which are both uh, relatively very hard like the screws and the glass. So if, uh, if I give a vibration to this, uh, you should see the whole thing rotate somewhat. Now I have tilted the table up about an inch, uh, just to kind of exaggerate the motion because I don't have uh, all day to spend vibrating tables. And I'm going to vibrate the table manually a little here because uh, I don't have a horde of people to walk around the table for the next few hours. Here we go. I think you get the basic idea. Obviously it's uh, rotated a little bit, it's also slid down a little bit, so the exact motion is going to depend upon the uh, geometry of the base of the object and uh, the nature of the vibration. I found that if I vibrate up and down it tends to rotate more, but if I move side to side it tends to kind of shift around on the table like that. But up and down it tends to vibrate. And the up and down vibration is more what you would get you can see the actual rotating with uh, people walking around.